prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm, Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal, Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time, Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority, Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored, Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development, Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office, Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this Eucharist, let us allow our Lord Jesus to come into our hearts so that he may purify, cleanse, and direct whatever is in our heart today. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, 
forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. The queen of Sheba, having heard of Solomon's fame, came to test him with subtle questions. She arrived in Jerusalem with a very numerous retinue and with camels bearing spices, a large amount of gold and precious stones. She came to Solomon and questioned him on every subject in which she was interested. King Solomon explained everything she asked about, and there remained nothing hidden from him that he could not explain to her. When the Queen of Sheba witnessed Solomon's great wisdom, the palace he had built, the food at his table, the sitting of his ministers, the attendance and garb of his waiters, his banquet service, and the burnt offerings he offered in the temple of the Lord, she was breathless. The report I heard in my country about your deeds and your wisdom is true, she told the king. Though I did not believe the report until I came and saw with my own eyes, I have discovered that they were not telling me the half. Your wisdom and prosperity surpassed the report I heard. Blessed are your men, Blessed these servants of yours, who stand before you always and listen to your wisdom. Blessed be the Lord your God, whom it has pleased to place you on the throne of Israel. In his enduring love for Israel, the Lord has made you king to carry out judgment and justice. Then she gave the king 120 gold talents, a very large quantity of spices and precious stones. Never again did anyone bring such an abundance of spices as the Queen of Sheba gave to King Solomon. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in Him and He will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just man tells of wisdom and his tongue utters what is right. The law of his God is in his heart, and his steps do not falter. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress, and the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord.
Jesus summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come out from within are what defile. When he got home, away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable. He said to them, Are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from outside cannot defile, since it enters not the heart but the stomach and passes out into the latrine? Thus he declared all foods clean. But what comes out of the man, that is what defiles him. From within the man, from his heart, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within and they defile. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon, dear brothers and sisters. And I would like to thank all of you for joining us in this celebration of the Holy Eucharist. You may be coming from the different offices around here in Intramuros, or you may come from other places to visit and have a pilgrimage here in the Manila Cathedral. In our Gospel reading today, Jesus teaches us to look not just into what comes inside of us, but Jesus teaches us to look at what comes out of us. Ang itinuturo ni Jesus sa kanyang mga alagad ngayong araw, Wag lamang tingnan ano ang pumapasok sa bibig natin, kundi tingnang mabuti ano ang lubalabas sa bibig. Sapagkat sabi niya, mas mahalagang tingnan ano ang lumalabas sa bibig mo. Sapagkat yan ay nanggagaling sa iyong puso. Whatever comes out of your mouth, whatever comes out of you, comes from within your heart. Alam niyo po, kanina nung binabasa ko ang Ebanghelyo, napaisip tuloy ako. Ano nga bang laman ng puso ko ngayon? I think, my dear brothers and sisters, this time, we need to think what is inside of my heart right now? What is the content of my heart? Maganda sigurong pag-isipan natin sa sandaling ito, ano nga ba ang laman ng puso ko ngayon? Is there, according to Jesus in our gospel today, is there Envy in my heart today? Meron bang akong nararamdamang inggit sa aking puso? Baka meron. Or is there fear, anxiety inside my heart today? Nakakaramdam kaya ako ng takot ngayon? Matinding pangamba? Nararamdaman ko ba yan? Or maybe, is there 
anger or hate inside my heart today? Meron ba akong nararamdamang galit? Is there frustration, disappointment that I feel in my heart today? What is the content of your heart? I think Jesus is asking His disciples to examine themselves. What is the content? What is inside your heart right now? Yesterday, we have heard the opening speeches for the campaign of our candidates for the national election. What do you feel after listening to their speeches? Do you feel hopeful or do you feel disappointed? Ano ang nararamdaman natin sa puso natin pagkatapos nating marinig ang kanilang mga sinabi sa unang araw ng kampanya? May pag-asa ba? Naramdaman niyo ba kahapon may pag-asa? O naramdaman natin na, nako, eh, ganun din pala ang sasabihin niya. No? What do we feel in our hearts right now? What is the content of our heart? My dear brothers and sisters, before you allow that content in your heart to come out of your mouth or to come out of you first, listen to God's wisdom so that He could cleanse your heart, He could purify our hearts, and He could direct whatever is in our hearts. Bago nyo pa man po hayaan lumabas sa bibig ninyo, lumabas sa atin ang laman ng puso natin, tumigil sandali, makinig sa karunungan ng Diyos, sa salita ng Diyos. Hayaan natin ang Diyos ang gumabay sa laman ng puso natin bago pa man ito lumabas sa atin. In our first reading today from the first book of Kings, the queen of Sheba visited Solomon and he saw how blessed, how prosperous, how orderly the life of the kingdom of Solomon was. Why? Because Solomon listens to God's wisdom. And he allows the wisdom of God to direct his actions and his heart. Nakita natin sa unang pagbasa na kapag kagaya ni Solomon, ang isang tao ay nakikinig sa karunungan sa salita ng Diyos at ginagawa ano ang sinasabi ng salita ng Diyos, nagiging maayos ang kanyang buhay nagiging maayos ang hakbang na kanyang gagawin sa buhay. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take this opportunity, alam ko po, break time ninyo ngayong tanghali na ito. But let us take this break time, this opportunity that you are in this Mass, in a few moments of our silence as we pray in this Eucharist, let us take this opportunity to be quiet and look what is the content of my heart today. And let us ask our Lord, Lord, in your wisdom, cleanse my heart. Purify my heart. Direct whatever is in my heart right now. Amen. Please stand. For Christians, there is no higher law than the law of love. 
let us pray for fidelity to this law and sincerity in our practice of religion. For every petition, let us say, Father, purify our hearts. Father, purify our hearts. That the Church may always be renewed and be purified by the words of Christ's Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, purify, purify our, our hearts. hearts. That we may bring hope to the despairing more through our loving actions than through pious words. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, purify our hearts. That our hearts may be filled with the honest desire to live for one another, so that we may worship in spirit and in truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, purify our hearts. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well, our, as, well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, purify our hearts. That our deceased brothers and sisters may join in the true worship in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, purify our hearts. Heavenly Father, purify our hearts so that we may not lose sight of our goal to love you above all else. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty. Grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Oh, 
Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tonight, our praying of the Healing Rosary for the World at 9 p.m. will be hosted by the Ina ng Laging Saklolo Parish in Hagonoy, Bulacan. And tonight will be the 100th Healing Rosary for the World. And so we invite again everyone to join us online as we all together pray the rosary for the healing of the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, so. 